with the rainforest, Merle's rainforest blues for the rainforest uh, thing. He, he just called me up and says, "Hey, I'm working on a thing, a rainforest thing. I wonder if you'd like to come over and play a little." <clears throat> and so I say, "Hey, sure. You know, as soon as I get a little time." And so as soon as I got some time, Merle's very accommodating. He's got a nice little studio at home, so it's like easy to do. You know, I just brought a couple of guitars over and. And I just did whatever he wanted me to do. I also brought a MIDI hookup over, which I had was very new to me at the time, and it was still or still new, I should say. Um, but I was really enjoying fooling around with it, you know. And so I brought it over, and I says, "Well, hey, let me try this. let me try some of these other voices in here, some horns and some other things, some other sounds, and see if it, you know, anything comes of it." And uh, he was delighted with the results, and I just gave him tracks and uh, you know he's the one that decided what to use on the record and wh when to use and when not to use it and so forth. And then I thought I felt the the acoustic piano on the Haleakala piece was would be nicely complemented with some acoustic guitar. So, you know, we just fooled around with it and uh, you know, as soon as it started sounding good, <laughs> I stopped. <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, Merle is really easy for me to work with. He's he's Merle taught me as much about music as I think any single person has. I mean, working with him gave filled me in on a background that I had absolutely missed in my life. That was the background of playing standards and jazz tunes and that kind of stuff. And he taught me the way those things work and the way that music is structured. And uh, taught me a lot about structure. Taught me a lot about harmonics, um, harmonic uh, development. And, uh, lots of stuff about music, and I always, uh, I always enjoy it, an opportunity to work with him when it's when it works for me. When it's uh, when there's time, really, that's usually the only real problem. And and Merle is just a sweet, sweet person. He's just a great, great guy, very giving. And uh, I, you know, it's like the fact that it was a rainforest project was meant something to me, but not as much as just the idea of doing something with Merle. I think. I mean, I, I didn't do it specifically because it's a rainforest project, but I, I did it specifically because it was Merle. The fact that it was a rainforest project made, made it that much more attractive, but I would have done it anyway. <laughs> <laughs>